Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you the basic function on render and animation in Clo 3D. In previous video, I have shown you the basic tools. Let's use those tools to draft a pattern and make a simple knit dress. First, let's bring out a female avatar. Once the avatar is in the 3D window, you can see this avatar silhouette appeared in the 2D window as well. This silhouette is going to be your guide when you draft pattern in 2D window. For this pattern, I am using polygon tool to create half of the front dress bodice. Fix all the curve and remove extra points on the pattern. Then use transform pattern tool to copy and paste. I will use to the duplicate piece for back dress bodice. Adjust the neckline and shoulder for the back bodice. Now I am happy with both front and back pieces. Use Edit Pattern tool to unfold both of them. Bring out arrangement points in 3D window and start to arrange the pattern pieces on the avatar. Then, use Segment Sewing tool to connect all the seams and click Simulate. Adjust the dress during simulate to make sure it fits right on the avatar. By the way, since the dress is using knit fabric, you can see the neckline on the avatar got stretched out a bit after simulation. To avoid this problem, you can use edit pattern tool to select front and back necklines, also include both armholes. Then, go to property editor and activate elastic. Change ratio to 100% and this will bring the neckline to the same length as the patterns you created in 2D window. Click on simulation to update the changes. And there, I made a very simple knit dress pattern. You can use internal polygon to add a slit to the front dress bodice. Just create an internal line and add a point on where you want the slit to start on the line. Then use Edit Pattern tool to right-click on the section of the line and select Cut. Click Simulate, and the internal line will be cut open as a front slit. For this dress, I like to make a left side slit instead. Use Undo to the previous step, and select Edit Sewing tool to delete the left side seam sewing line. And this will open up the left side seam after you simulate it. Also, you can use Smooth Curve tool to round the corner. Select the left bottom point on the dress hem. Hold left mouse key and drag. You will be able to curve the corner. Let me do it on the back bodice as well. To finish the edges of the dress, I am going to use binding. Just click on Binding Tool from 3D Window Toolbar, and click one point to start the line and double-click to end it. And simulate. Okay, now the dress pattern is done. To add a graphic to the dress. You can click Graphic Tool in 2D Window to upload a JPEG or PNG file. Then click on piece of pattern that you like to add the graphic. After you click, the pop-up window will appear to let you type in the size of the graphic you want to place on the pattern. Or you can just click OK and use the circle in 2D Window to adjust your graphic size and move it. I would also add a color to the dress by going to Object Browser to select the fabric and go down to Property Editor and click on Color. Now the dress is looking better. 
You can change the avatar's pose to check how the garments look in different poses to see if you need to correct the fit of the pattern. Also it will look more interesting when you render the garment. One last thing you need to do before render or creating animation is to lower the particle distance. Particle distance is the resolution of your 3D pattern piece. Let me change the dress to the mesh texture in 3D window, so you can get a better idea. Particle distance refers to the average distance between the points that make up a garment pattern, in other words, size of the mesh. The preset of the particle distance is 20mm, as you can see the triangles mesh in the 3D window. When you are at the final step after you complete your pattern, lower the particle distance to 5mm and simulate. As you can see the triangles on the mesh got smaller, and this will help you to get a higher level of detail on the garment. Lowering the particle distance will slow down your computer when you simulate the garment, so don't change it during the process of drafting a pattern. And now, we are ready for rendering. Go to top window bar and select render. The render window will replace your 2D window. Click on Interactive Render, and it will bring exactly what you see in 3D window to the rendering window. Make sure to turn on the quality render in 3D window to get a better result for your rendering. Select image slash video property and go to property editor window to change setting for your rendering. In this video, I am showing you rendering images only. You can choose the image size and orientation. You can also change background color. Currently I have my background in dark gray. Otherwise when you bring out the render window, it will be the same background as your 3D window. Next, go to Light Properties, and you can select the preset lighting options from Clo. Adjust the intensity to make it brighter or darker. If need more lighting, you can go to Render Window Toolbar and select different lights such as Rectangle, Spotlight and change the intensity and color in the Property Editor. Click the Interactive Render to refresh your Render Window after you change the properties. When you are done with all the setting, stop render. Then click final render. This might take from 5 to 20 minutes depends on the details of your garments and your computer. Once the rendering process is over, you will get the final image of your garment. This is how you will use render in Clo 3D. The next great feature in Clo 3D is to create animation clips. First you need to bring your avatar to attention pose. 
all the motions will start transitioning from the attention pose. By doing this, it will reduce the process time. Just like rendering, before creating animation, you want to make sure all your pattern is sewing correctly and there's no issue after simulation. Otherwise it will cause collisions during animation. Once you are ready, go to Library, under Avatar Folder, select Motion. Clow 3D comes with 5 options for the animation. Double click to select one motion, and click OK on the pop-up window. Then go to top right window and click on Simulation to bring out more options. You will see Animation. Click on it and it will bring you to Animation window. After you select a motion, the avatar will be moved to a starting position. That's why when you see the avatar in the animation window, it has been moved from center to the left. You can still move the avatar around in the animation window using the same way you will move avatar in the 3D window. You can also zoom in and out. Remember to turn on the quality 3D render to get a better result for your animation. In the lower bottom section, choose animation for simulation quality and leave all the other setting as is. When you are ready, click the record button. The record button will turn red, and it will start recording the motion. This process will take a while depending on your computer and how complicated is your garment. It can take from 15 minutes to over an hour. If you see the avatar is out of frame during recording, don't worry about it. It won't affect the result. After recording is done. To save your animation clip. Go to top window bar, under file, click on video capture, and select animation. A new window will appear to let you adjust the video size and orientation here. If I select vertical view, the starting point will be out of the frame. You want to make sure when you record the motion, the avatar will be in the center of the frame. To do so, Change the current number until you see the avatar. Adjust avatar size and move to your ideal position. Bring the current back to zero, and hit the recording button to start. When recording is done, click on recording button again and the video capture window will show up. You can use play to review the recording. If everything looks good, just click save. And there you have it. Hope this video will help you to start using render and animation. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave your comments to help me improve my video. And don't forget to click like and subscribe.